Thank you for joining us for Way 31 News at 6. I'm Erin Dacey. And I'm Dan Schaefer. We begin tonight with the coronavirus emergency here in Alabama and across the country. Right now, about one in every four people tested for COVID-19 receives a positive result in Alabama. We also know some hospitals are being overwhelmed. The Alabama Hospital Association says there are 40 more ICU patients than there are available beds in the state. Helen Keller Hospital officials told Way 31 the Delta surge is bringing pressures to bear they've never experienced before in this pandemic. We have team coverage for you, taking a deeper look at the COVID-19 impact on North Alabama. We begin with Way 31's Breck and Terry. She's live outside Helen Keller Hospital with how dire the situation is getting there day by day. Brecken. They're taking care of more kids. This hospital is full and the average age of people who are in the hospital with COVID and actually on a ventilator needing ICU level care has gone from an average age of 75 to about 50. And that's putting more of an emotional strain on families who are going through this as well as staff members here. Helen Keller Hospital President Kyle Buchanan said last time their numbers were this high in January, they were taking care of more elderly patients and they kind of had a game plan on what to do. With the Delta variant, it's bringing more hurdles for critical care. Buchanan said there are no ICU beds in the state of Alabama and smaller hospitals like Helen Keller can't send patients to bigger hospitals because there's just no space. Buchanan said young families are having to deal with COVID in ways they've never had to before. Not only has our average age of the entire COVID population in our hospital dropped, but the average age on a ventilator. And so those conversations are extremely tough when you, 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 you speak to a daughter of an 82 year old. Um, it's even tougher when you talk to a teenager about her, her dad. Buchanan said they're working through these dynamics and supporting these families in their toughest times. Now, right now, doctors say the best thing you can do for your family is to get vaccinated. Out of the 40 people that are here in the hospital with COVID, only four of them did have a vaccination. Live in Sheffield, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. Thank you, Brecken. We know there are nearly 350 coronavirus inpatients across the Huntsville hospital system. Nearly 100 are in ICU. More than 60 are on ventilators. Huntsville Hospital, Maine has the most of any facility with nearly 140.